In this video, I'm gonna reveal three hidden tones in your electric guitar that you might not know about. Coming up. We all know that Tellys, Les Pauls, and other two pickup guitars have three distinct tones. And Strats and other three pickup guitars have five distinct tones. But did you know you could get at least three more tones out of them without modifying any electronics or turning any knobs? The earliest electric guitars had a single pickup, which varied in placement. Some were closer to the neck, some were closer to the bridge, some you could adjust and slide anywhere you wanted to. But for the most part, you were limited to one sound. Some of the ways players were able to coax different tones out of a single pickup was to pick or attack in different areas between the bridge and the end of the fretboard. So the first hidden tone I want to show you is this. Whether you have a Strat, a Tele, or a Les Paul, just switch to the bridge pickup. So I think the majority of us tend to pick near the middle. The hand feels natural in that position, and the string tension feels very comfortable, and the notes sound pretty even. But now let's pick closer to the neck somewhere between the end of the fretboard and like the neck pickup. If you listen to Jimmy Herring or Scott Henderson, they like to play close to the fretboard. It's a nice contrast if you think about it, because you're on the bridge pickup, which can be a trebly and a little bit bitey. And by picking further away from it and close to the fretboard, it mellows the tone a little bit and the tension is less, so it's not as bitey sounding. Listen to the difference again. And you can really hear it on the wound strings, on the lower strings. Hear how mellow that is? Now the second hidden tone is kind of the inverse and it's something that I personally gravitate towards. So we're gonna switch to the neck pickup and pick closer to the bridge. So here's where I would normally pick And here's picking closer to the bridge. John Schofield does this a lot. Kid Ramos, Kirk Fletcher, a lot of my favorite blues players do this. It's exactly the opposite of the first one. The neck pickup is, is mellow and thick, and so by picking by the bridge, there's a lot more tension there. So your tone is gonna be a little more bitey, a little more percussive, a little more thinned out, and sometimes it can get a little quacky. And obviously you can pick by the bridge on any uh, pickup position. I do it on the bridge pickup even. This is where I would normally play. But moving to the bridge, it gets really bitey. So the point I'm trying to make is you have a wide range of tones that you can choose from just by changing your pickup position. You know, going from where the fretboard meets the body all the way to the bridge. And the last hidden tone is something that I also do from time to time, and that's just getting the rid of the pick altogether, and not necessarily playing with your fingers, but limiting it to your thumb. So when you're on the neck pickup, you can kind of get that West Montgomery tone by attacking the string more on top with a lighter touch. And if you switch the bridge pickup and dig in a little more, you can kind of get that Albert King vibe, make it a little poppier. All 
Also, one of my favorite guitar players currently is a Chicago blues artist by the name of Guy King, and he plays, I would say, 99% of the time with his thumb. Brilliant player, great tone, you guys should check him out. And he does stuff like, you know, So by changing the way you attack or pick the strings and the position you do it in, you can make your playing more vocal and dynamic. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, just ask me in the comments section. If you liked it, make sure you hit that thumbs up, share it with your friends. If you'd like to see more videos like this or gear demos, lesson videos, music related vlogs, make sure you hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys later.